most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, we are way beyond this point, obviously, but uh, there is <laughs> top seven muscle groups women love in a man. And uh, yeah. I think there's nobody looking at us anymore. We have yeah, nobody cares about looking <laughs> yeah. at us anymore. So, but we're you know we're trying to keep our whole audience in mind here, right. and and uh, you know, uh, it, men, if you're trying to look attractive to to women or maybe even other men, um, you know, that's whatever it yeah, takes, yeah, whatever Bob. It we're, takes. we're going to show you how. So what we have done is this is actually a compilation of a lot of studies. So um, and I I tried to pick the ones that were normally picked in the study to be number one. And there's a, it could be a little flipping around, but anyway, this is pretty close list in the top seven. Compilation. That's yeah, a good word, word. Yeah, I, th I thought I'd work <laughs> on my word of the day. Um, Brad, uh, also, uh, we were going to talk about what does it normally take to build muscle just generally. Overall. Sure, yep. Now, you're certified. CSCS. Yep. Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. I, I got to admit, though, I focus most of my training on aerobic stuff and not a lot of weight building stuff, but sure. the concepts I've learned them, and I we can definitely chime in. Yeah, and you help know the out. you know the basic oh, concepts. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. first, how many reps do they recommend? But repetitions that, that means, by the way, right? I like eight to twelve. I okay. know I know it can be some. You know, some will say even you know six to twelve, but whatever the number is. Yeah, I just had a continued education. They said six to twelve. You're, you're not right. going to do it on one and two rep maxes right. in that that type of thing, and you're not going to go more than fifteen for sure. Sure. Uh, you're working on endurance end versus the atrophy and all. Right. So you're going to do hypertrophy. I'm you, sorry. You do six to twelve, um, and, and and then you're going to do like three, two to three sets of those, and right. you're increasing the weight. If you don't increase the weight, which I haven't been doing lately, I just do the same weight because I'm just trying to maintain. Sure. It won't get any bigger. And, right. And, and, well, of course not. So, all right. Um, they also recommended like two to three days a week of weightlifting. Some people, what they'll do is they'll do certain body parts right. on one day. Uh, this is, again, this is very basic to, you know, the weightlifters. I know they know this already, but right. they'll do like chest and arms on one day mm -hmm. and then maybe legs and back on another day. You right. know, they'll, they'll break it up. Yeah, every other day. So you get that those muscles a chance to rebuild. Right. Because you want to give the muscles probably 24 to 48 hours to, to rest and right. recover. Right. And not only that, between the sets, if you're doing a set of 10, by the 10th one, it's very difficult to do. It's a little painful. you got to give at least a minute just for that muscle to relax, relax and rest, get more blood in it before you do the next set. They were saying 90 seconds to two minute rest. Sure. So, and speaking of painful, we're going to talk about something that's not painful, Brad. Mm. By the way, if you haven't already, if you're new to our channel, yeah, make sure you subscribe. It's right down there in the left bottom corner. Um, we're going to give you lots of videos on how to stay healthy and fit, and by the way, and pain free. And we mm -hmm. upload every day. Yeah. So every every evening. So what's next, Bob? All right. What's next? Um, you want to do the large groups, muscle groups, before you do the you know small muscle groups because it it's going to use a lot more metabolic energy. Right. So like if you're doing bench press, you're doing a lot of different muscles. Right. You're doing triceps, chest, you know, grip even a little right. bit. So Ver versus the bicep, where you just really were doing the bicep. One muscle, yeah. yeah. So okay, let's get started, Brad. Number seven is the calf muscle. All right. <laughs> Believe it or not, some women actually find calves to be very sexy in men. You better believe it. So, um, so what exercise are we going to do for that, Brad? Uh, well, we're going to let the genes take care of yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to let If If you weight, lift weights at all, you're going to hear this in the, in the gym. Either you're a calf or a calf not. <laughs> I mean, I have, you know, I, I used to lift weights a lot, Brad. Sure. And when I was younger. And I could work on my calves all day long. And they maybe went from three inches around to <laughs> 3.25 yeah. inches around. It just... It's a natural thing. I, I, I think you, you can spend your time better on, on the other body parts if right. you're trying to impress women. Right. You, you can do it, but most people opt to go the other direction. Right, yeah. right. So let's go on to the second one, Brad. Shoulders. What woman doesn't like the big, broad shoulders, mm. right? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, strong like bull. Yeah, well, kind of like the two football helmets here. Right, right? like that person that tries to walk through the door and they bump their shoulders and then they have to turn sideways. <laughs> He's bringing out all the old weightlifting jokes. That's true, I forgot that one. So, all right, so we're going to show you how to build up your deltoids mm -hmm. um, and just one exercise here for that. And you can do it with with actually free weights. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you'd use more weight than that, Brad. We don't oh, yeah. That. We don't have big enough dumbbells for yeah. me. 
So, but otherwise you can use a, a stretch tubing like this or a stretch band. And what you're going to do, the deltoid just goes, it gives you um, abduction, doesn't it? Right, Short out abduction. to the side. Mm -hmm. So now most people would just do it this way, Brad. They'd go up and down and they'd, they'd work it this way. But if you really want to get some hypertrophy, getting the muscle to bigger mm -hmm. and bigger and get, and get some more strength, you're going to go up here and you can actually burn it a little bit like this and then come down again. I want to, I want to emphasize, do not do this above 90 right. degrees. We don't want you to have shoulder problems, which pe starts having when people go above 90. Right. And so, also good posture. Oh, yeah, very good posture. Uh, so you're not going to go like this like I see people doing at right, the gym. all the time. Yep. So you're going to yep. work them properly. Really good posture. And, and you know, it's like you're flapping. Aren't, is that right? Yeah, it's like the chicken run movie. I remember oh, that. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're off to the next one, Brad. So that was uh, shoulders. Now the one I think a lot of people know is, you know, biceps. Oh, people, yeah. Give them give the double arm, Brad. Yeah, the biceps. So, yeah, there we go. Strong like yeah. bull, yeah. You know, what is, you know, what is more attractive to a woman when you have a short sleeve on and you got that big bulge there? You know? Right. What can we say? So, <laughs> I wouldn't know, but, it's, you know, yeah, some people have it. I used to have there. But. The, the thing about these biceps, I see I just saw Saturday someone doing their biceps like this. They weren't doing full range of motion. Sure. You got to get all the way in and get the full benefits so that the joint is healthy as well as the muscle. And you're going to get, a, you know, better strengthening, better quality. Well, some people also go like this, Brad, because the, the bicep does supinate the arm. Too. Right. Yeah, yep. Or, so, or, yep. That's a good idea. Instead yeah. of just doing the straight motion here, if you watch the weight, palm down. It gives you a little up. more of that definition, I think. Sure. So. And it works at the, the, the other muscles that but are But I'm going to show you how to really get some big ones. Oh. So, okay, this is going to simulate a bar. PVC pipe? Yep. Just pretend that there's like 200 pounds on each side in okay. here. So, all right, what you're going to do with this, with, 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 you're going to try to really build up some strength here. You're going to put on, you're going to work on, up, you know, warm up first and get a couple lower weights. But eventually you're going to get up to a weight that you can barely get up, right? Okay. So you can even do a little bit of this if you want. I don't want you going crazy and going like this. Right, we don't hurt your back. But a weight that you can barely get up, and then you're going to slowly lower it down. This is where the strengthening is going to happen. This is eccentric strengthening. Yep. So this is where you can really bump up that, get that hypertrophy. And They'll call those negatives. Negatives. There yep. you go, Brad. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're going to get it up, and then just slowly lower it down like this. Right. So that's where all the work is being done. Right. As down. And, and then when you get done, you get a tank, a, a tattoo of a tank on oh, your... Oh, yeah. 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 So... <laughs> That would work. By the way, just a quick story. I was oh. helping, <laughs> helping a guy I hope bench quick. press one time, and he, 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 I had to help him get it up. Yeah. And he goes, well, how much did you help? I go, well, let's put it this, this way. This is the first time I, I curled 300 pounds. <laughs> In other words, he hardly helped at all. So. Oh, Bob. Okay. You're killing me. <laughs> We're up to the next one. Okay. Uh, this one is probably number three is probably not uh, a surprise to anybody, chest. Mm. A lot of women like the big... The big pecs. Yeah, the big pecs. And I'm going to show you a push-up, Brad, that you can do that's uh, going to really burn more than a regular push-up. Sure. So, yeah, we need to move here. There's a lot of popular exercises for this. You know, that's the standard bench press, uh, supine fly. But this is a specific, more specific to work those pecs. And this is the perfect push-up, by the way. These are nice because they're easy on the arm and you can... Uh, spin a little bit here, but right. you don't need to use it. I mean, you can. So one thing, by the way, Brad. Before I do push-ups, I usually warm up like this sure. first. Um, it, one, it stretches my back, and yep. two, it warms it up because I don't want to tear a muscle at my age, and I could easily. Yeah, that's for so, sure. Get those triceps warm. So and, and then I'd, I'd probably even do a couple push-ups to warm up. But what you're going to do here, the, the the pectoralis muscle actually adducts the arm. Sure. So this is this is the this muscle it pulls it across like this. Mm -hmm. So if you actually adduct it even more while you're doing the push up, you're really going to focus on that muscle and it, and you'll find out when you do these if you try these. Brad. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. So what you do, I'm going to work one side first. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to go up, I'm going to go down like this and I'm going to come up like this, Brad. I like turn to the right. over your shoulder. Yep, I'm looking over to my right shoulder. This is really burning my right side. So right up in here. Now I'm going to go on the left side. Yep, balance it off. See how that, that shoulder becomes about four to six inches higher. If you do, you know, if you normally do 10 push ups and you do five this way and five that way, yep. you're going to find it's a lot harder because that's, <laughs> I usually do 15 push ups, Brad, and yep. I barely, I can barely make it. So, 
All right, let's go to the butt. Um, that's number two, the buttocks. Yeah, these, by the way, were interchanged, number two and number one. Some, with some women, it was butt, and other people, it will be the other one, number one. Oh, sure. <laughs> Can you do lunges, Brad? Sure. Want to show just a, a, a regular lunge is good for me. Sure. All right. <laughs> so we're talking gluteus I'm going to catch my breath while you show me lunges. <laughs> All Glutes right. I, I like to have something to hold for balancing. Yep. And we're just going it, straight down. Try not to get the knee to pass the foot. Yep. This is good for the quads, as you'll find out. You'll feel it on both quads, actually. But we're working that, that gluteus muscle. See how his knee does not pass the end of his foot? Yeah. See, he's doing it incorrect. Yeah, that incorrect, would be incorrect. And now he's doing it correct. Yeah. I'm getting tired, Bob. Can All right. You, stop? you can oh. stop. Now, we're doing a lot of them where you don't have to go to the gym and have thousands of pounds of steel. Yeah, we're and trying weight. to show you things that you can do at home, too. Right. All right. The last one, Brad, is abs. Yeah. You know, the six pack. Yep. And I'm not talking Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you a couple ab workouts okay. here, Brad. So, all right. Uh, number one. Real simple one. This is one most people can do, but it's hard to do for a long time. All right. Whenever you do abs, you're trying to actually flatten the back out a little bit, right? Sure. Try to just yep. Pull in. Yeah, I'm going to point yeah. out. Right, so right, right in here, you got to push that down. Push that down yeah. while you're doing these. Protect and these are called flutters. And all you're doing is just doing these, Brad. Yeah. And you do these a while, and it starts to burn. Right. Keep that back flat. You can shorten up your, your flutter if you don't want to go that long. Yeah. And actually, that almost seems a little bit harder sometimes. Sure. Okay. Whatever works good for you. Uh, number two, you're going to actually get on your side like this, Brad. And you're going to get up on your knees. Mm -hmm. And you're going to lift up like this. Believe it or not. So we're going to... Uh, you're working. actually really working the obliques here. Yep. Yep. This looks easy, but... <laughs> Again, give it a try once. Oh, no. Now, this particular one, I, I will not do because it, it bothers my back. So if you get back pain during this, you need to try to find right. another one. And obviously, you're going to do the other side just, yep. just as well. Otherwise, you walk crooked. All right. And last one I'm going to do is it's a plank, Brad. But actually, I don't like planks because I don't feel like you're doing anything. But this one, you're actually going to go like this, and you're going to lift up like yeah, this. Sure. And then you can also do the other side. Yeah, this is a tough one. You can see Bob normally keeps his body nice and straight, but he, he's getting tired here, too. <laughs> Rad's daughter, by the way, who's here, um, just mentioned that we forgot one. Uh, we forgot number number four. Yeah. It, it's the lats. You want to have that, that big V-shape. That's yeah. what you really get hard to get and, to the uh, door. The way, if you really, I think pull-ups are the best way to do it, but if you take one of these, they call it a dipping belt because you can actually put extra weight on you while you're doing dips. You just put this on, you click it on, and you can actually put a weight through here, Brad. Yep. And you can actually, while you're doing pull-ups, you put, add extra weight on. Right. pull-ups aren't hard enough. I'm saying if you have to do that, you, you probably got pretty big lats. Yeah. <laughs> so. Alrighty. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll get my, catch my breath, but please subscribe while. Yeah, I noticed, Bob, you've, you've, you've hypertrophied. Yeah. Look at the girth growth. So, wow. Yeah, thanks for watching.